please do not attempt to perform any of these stunts or activities in this show. They are super dangerous, crazy, wild, dangerous. The stunt scene are either performed by professionals or under the supervision of professionals. Serious professionals. This show also contains bad language. Dude, this is insane. We get to go in the helicopter? Hell yeah. Get it, baby! Let's do this, baby! We're going on a helicopter! I love the smell of napalm in the morning. You got this! <laughs> of top skaters battling it out to accomplish amazing stunts and challenges. This year, we have Chocolate, Toy Machine, and the Defending Champs Birdhouse. They go from city to city for 13 days, documenting every crazy trick and bone-crushing slam. It's just like the scavenger hunt of all times. Hey, do a trick barefoot. Making some mayhem out on the streets. <laughs> Wet your pants in a crowded place. I got that. You guys need to f that butt. Hey, hey, hey. You guys are all sick of I'm sorry for hitting with oh, the that's <laughs> When the dust settles, the team who's done the gnarliest stunts is going to be crowned king of the road. Practice inside. We just gotta figure it out. King of the Road starts tomorrow, so we're here in Seattle. And we're gonna go check out Marginal Way, the famous skate park under the bridge, where the teams are gonna meet up. But we're gonna get Jake Phelps and Andy Roy down there because they're gonna help MC this thing. Jake Phelps is the longtime editor of Thrasher Magazine. He's a walking encyclopedia of skateboarding knowledge. He's got a photographic memory. He calls it like he sees it. He's a loose cannon. None of your goddamn business. <laughs> he loves skateboarding, and he's kind of like the uh, strong man of Thrasher. I don't care how you want. And then we got Andy Roy. <laughs> We've never had Andy host before. Here we go. He's been on King of the Road before with Anti Hero. King of the Road. He's just an original gnarler. All right. And he's a hype man. There's nobody more hype than Andy. Woo! Get it, Jordy. It don't get no better than that. Yeah. We're going to kick this thing off with a few challenges and do a dry run. I got a little script we can practice. The points we want to hit. You know, welcome to King of the Road. We got three teams, 13 days. You're gonna go city to city, 
And you gotta bust the best tricks. You gotta film this shit. Fifty grand? No one told me. Yeah. And you will be king of the road. And bragging rights for next year. Yeah. We'll just practice. So I'm. Just doing... hey, hey, hey. You gotta go where we tell you, and then we'll see you in San Diego. No. Right, we'll no. Don't don't, don't say don't any cities. Say they don't know where they're going. All right. There's a little bit of cat herding with these guys. You get better moments when it's like not so planned out. We'll see what happens. We are in the Seattle skate park meeting point. All the teams. We're gonna start the competition. This is the 11th year we've done King of the Road. This year, the teams are Toy Machine, Chocolate and the defending champions, Birdhouse. It's gonna be a really good showdown. Fish eye on, fish eye off. It's king of the road. All right, let's do this. It's your turn right here, all right? Chocolate, they're kind of like a legacy team. It really is a family, and it's really hard to get on the team. Raven Tershi, he's like one of the best bowl skaters in the world. Powerful on the board, kind of a showman but then he can also put it down in a backyard pool. He can street skate too, which makes him a, a triple threat. You just gotta stay healthy and stay motivated because you get sore real fast. Got a good night's sleep last night, ready to go. Yeah, I've been here one time when they were just building it. <laughs> gnarly. And then we've got Stevie Perez. Goes by the nickname Flacco. He's like a classic LA street skater. Always ripping, <laughs> unless he's sleeping. He can be goofy, but he's also passionate. Uh, always fun to be on trips with the homies. Yeah! Everyone just get gnarly, you know? Everyone just go for it. <laughs> and then we have Elijah Burrell, who's known for being able to shred everything. Bowls, concrete terrain, a handrail chomper. I think they're definitely going to be looking to him to knock out a lot of the tricks. He's got the spirit. There's a really good chance he'd be one of the MVPs for sure. You pretty much just skate all day and all night for the next two weeks. How was it? It's not for everybody. How you doing? Chocolate's got a new guy this year, Johnny Jones. He's a scrappy ripper from South Central Los Angeles. I haven't traveled too much outside of LA. Actually, I used to always watch King of the Road and it's a dream come true for me. He's like a flow rider for Chocolate, which means he's not on the team yet. King of the Road's gonna be a big test for him. Justin Eldridge, even though he's not that old, he's kind of the veteran of the team. Manuals, technical ledge stunts, he's been on King of the Road a few times. He's got tricks and he's gonna be getting these guys hyped. We just try to keep it positive. We have the sickest lineup. Everybody has their strengths. And this one's gonna be fun. They're gonna be hard to beat. And then we've got Toy Machine. We're at uh, Marginal Way Skate Park. I think we get the uh, King of the Road handbook. So we're about to find out. You guys know what's going on? Billy's already pissed. Toy Machine is Ed Templeton's company. These guys like to have fun, and they like to get deadly on the streets. Billy Marks is the veteran of this lineup, Trick Machine, and he's also super funny. Whatever I can do to get everyone hyped, I'm gonna do it. I don't wanna wipe shit on my leg, but I mean, if I have to, I, I might have to just do it to get the points. Can you see that? Daniel Lutheran, Mr. Sunshine, <laughs> has grinded some of the biggest rails in the history of skateboarding. Being on Toy Machine, it's the best. It's just a weird family. I love it. It means the most to me to have a home like that. Our crew is so solid, it's anybody's game. Colin Provost, the spider, he's one of the baddest dudes. A lot of good times and a lot of torture. <laughs> he's a lanky master of all terrain. And the dude can bounce higher than almost anybody. Toy Machine's bringing along Euro flow sensation Axel Kreisberg. He's from Belgium. I don't even know if the whole team has met Axel at this point. So it's going to be interesting to see how he can hang. I'm not sure what's in the book and stuff, what we have to do, so we'll see. I feel like since I'm the flow guy, they're gonna give me all the stupid shit to do. Axel, I don't even know who that is. Like, seen him once. I don't know what he can do. We're here in the ball. 
Lastly, you got Blake Carpenter. His switch game is insane. The dude can ollie the house. He's actually one of the best amateurs in skateboarding right now. Birdhouse is like really gnarly with this competition. They're warriors, but we're gonna try to do what we can to take them down, I guess. Last but not least, we've got Birdhouse. They are the defending champs, presently going for a three-peat. Ready, Jerome? Let's have some fun. Birdhouse is Tony Hawk's company. He's sending a battalion of underdog shredders. First, you got Aaron Jaws Hamoki. This guy is a freak of nature. I'd like to jump down big things. That's my specialty in this game. <laughs> It means a lot of pain. He's taken the biggest drops in the history of skateboarding and lived to tell. Then you got Clive Dixon, everybody's good buddy. The dude can jump on some big rails, and he's ready to back his teammates up no matter what. I'm down for whatever. Last year, I didn't shit in the toilet or use the toilet at all for 12 days. Like, I don't know, anything that needs to be done. Oh, this is a six spot. Ben Rayborn, he looks like your paper boy from 1955. He can do every transition trick that has ever been invented. He's one of the best in the world at that kind of skating. Next up, they got Silent Mike Davis. He's a technical wizard. All the guys are so rad. They're all like my best friends. I want to do good. I wouldn't want to be on a team with other guys that like don't really care. And then you've got the unofficial captain of Birdhouse, Clint Walker. He's a good guy, an awesome skater, but he's got a hell of a temper. He smashed people's windshield out with a rock last year. Nobody wants to win King of the Road as bad as him. I've always been pretty competitive, and uh, I, don't know, I don't really like to lose at anything, really, so I'll do whatever. Toy Machine and Chocolate, they've got the talent. It's going to be really hard to beat Birdhouse. Not many predictions. Uh, definitely it'll be crazy. Hopefully it's equally as crazy as every other year, because that's what's fun about it, I think. Marginal weight. This thing's lumpy. It's not perfect. It's not some X Games course. It's everything measured out. This is going to be sick. We've been on two King of the Roads before this, and usually they only have a halfway meetup point and then a meetup point at the end. Does that ever happen? Beginning meetup never. never happened in all King of the Road, so it's really crazy going into this first thing and having the like, oh, f you going already. It's playful and we're friends in the end, but for now it's f you. Is it on? Can you guys hear this? All right, guys. Welcome to Thrasher Magazine's 2015 King of the f Road. Are you ready to rock? Yes! The three teams selected are the Toy Machine, the Chocolate Mafia, and the defending champion, Birdhouse. These three teams are going to go Rambo towards the finish line and make the most ultimate skateboard road trip. The first things you're gonna do today, uh, sorry. What do they get? Oh, what do you get? What do they get? Okay, at the end of the rainbow, you get the trophy, the cheddar, 50 grand, and the cover of Pressure Magazine. Ladies and gents, here's Andy Roy. Take it to another level, Andy. All right, all right. Who's got the meanest 360 flip? I need one dude from each team. Who's got the best 360 flip? Step it up right now. One of you guys, who's got the money? Billy, right. Toy Billy Machine, Marks, Elijah Chocolate, Elijah Burks. Birdhouse. Mike, all right, we got this. All right. Attention. We're at the board together the fastest and do a 360 flip and snap the board in half. I want two pieces. And you guys are gonna be blindfolded. Yeah. Go, 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 Billy. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Come on, Mike. Good, 
some, get some. By your left knee, by your left knee, drop that knee. Come on, man. You got it. You've been doing this your whole life. You should yeah. give up. Right. Build it. You guys better hurry. There's two uh, wheels right below you. Seriously, too right much there. weed, bro. Uh, He's got right four. Right there. Billy's handling it right now. Come on, Billy. It's right there. Head buddy. Head buddy. Elijah, you can't break the board. You got to die, dude. Your girlfriend cheated on you. Get pissed. What have you got? What have you got? What's in store? Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. All right, guys, rock them, suck them, and roll them. I want each team to pick one rider for a death-defying skateboard race. Toy Machine. Provo. Spider. Ray Ray. And Rayborn. All you guys, come up here. Mad Maxim. Spider, come over here. You guys, first rule of this is there's no rules. You can elbow, knock a mother off this board. On your marks, get set, go! I'm not very aggressive, and we were about to drop in, and Andy Roy comes up and he's like, elbow him, hit him, whatever. Right at the end, I grabbed his shirt and pulled myself and slingshotted right in front of him, like just barely before the tape. Oh shit, they're announcing shit, I'm gonna listen. All right, the next challenge is one of our favorite disciplines, the barrel jump. Oh, uh, barrel jump, you want me to do this? You got this. Come on, guys, three barrels. Who's got it? Get it! <laughs> the barrel jump. Anybody can go. The first person that clears the most barrels, they win 100 points. Four barrels it is now. Get it! The barrel jump is something from the 70s, like get as much speed as you can, jump from board to board. This isn't a thing people do, so it's like kind of testing some skate skills that these guys maybe didn't know they had. Oh, that's six barrels. That's nailed. This land should come really good now. Get it! Put it down! Put it down! Put it down! Put it down! Who's got it? Oh. Get it, get it, get it! Oh. 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 Are you gonna try it again? No. Ben says he's out. Elijah and Spider. Yeah. Ten barrels. You put it down, Elijah. Oh. Yeah! Last 
chance. Let's make some noise. Get it! Charger! Oh. Gonna give it to both of you guys. 50 points each. Goes a tie at 10 barrels. Straight up, straight Look how big that is. Dude, I, I thought you guys had it. All right, Billy Marks from Toy Machine got 100 points for the board build up, and Ben Rayborn, 100 points for the race. We got 100 points to Colin, and we got 100 points to Elijah for the barrel jerk. No, they get 50 each. 50 each, excuse me. Split it. And now it's game time to go get the books. Let the madness begin. I think we'll do good. I just want to see the book. I want to see what's in there. I just want to skate. So we're about to hand out the books. These books are filled with challenges. This is their companion for King of the Road. All right, all the team managers step up here. The teams are then going to go city to city trying to earn as many points as they can. At the end, the team with the most points is crowned King of the Road. These are the booklets that you shall live and die by. May God be with you on your highway to hell. Thanks for coming, guys. Get on there and get your shit figured out. Oh, yeah, here we go. Out of here. Hell yeah. See ya. Later, boys. 100 points. Couldn't have done it without Dan Lou. Dan Lou? That's what's going to win this shit is teamwork. The teams are going to go their separate ways, and then halfway through, they're going to meet back up again. Everybody in? Let the games begin. I should have like lifted up so I could see. I'm no, sure no. they did that. I don't think so. You I think Billy think Marks is a f snake, yeah. dude. He probably did. He was hitting the board every time he was trying to stomp it. Dead center. I was like, how, how's he doing that? Let's open this bitch and get it going. Right in my hands. That's a good oh. that idiot. <laughs> Why do you do that? What the I don't know why you did that. You're f Where'd it go? Jesus, dude. Hey. Where'd it go? I tried to grab the book and throw it on the wall, and instead I threw it over the junkyard fence. God damn it, Clint. Yeah. Oh my god. Somebody open this thing and take it. Here we go, we're in there. Do this. Are you guys fired up? We're on like a big scavenger hunt. It's like a Thrasher magazine thing. Open the book. Thrasher king of the road. Ooh, glossy. That's a book, all right. Each team has seven cities, including Seattle. Seven? Your second city will be texted to you by 11 p.m. on Saturday, the 29th. What are some of the challenges? We're looking. We're looking. No, we're doing. I thought we were supposed to find out where we're going. Right, we're doing. No, they text you, you dipshit. Ledge game. Front nose, pretzel out, suit you grind, hang ten front crooks. That's Do a trick where all the four wheels hit the ceiling without planting a foot. Oh, that is so sick. Grind a rail with the same stair count as your age. <laughs> This is where things get weird. Is your tit, nose, tongue, or eyebrow pierced? Wet your pants in a crowded place. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Make out with a woman over 50. Make out with a poodle. Rip your shirt off in a public place. And remain shirtless for five days. Gnarly. Oh, shit. <laughs> get a thrasher tattoo from one of your teammates. Oh. Sick. <laughs> I'll get one. Water out, water in. Drink your own pee. While in motion and with the entire team present, take a dump in the van. Oh. <laughs> Someone's got to take a shit in the van, dude. The whole f butt chug a beer or chocolate milk. Oh, <laughs> oh my f God, dude. Shit. That's easy. You do that, and then you have diarrhea in the van. <laughs> Instantly. It's like 300 points. <laughs> Most ruthless King of the Road performance. Most points by a team rider. That's MVP. And that's that. Should we fire it up? Yep, that's it. Hey, Should where we are we going first? Up? We got this, boys. Yeah. Who's doing makeouts, dude? I'll f do it if I have to. Oh, I'll take dude. a shit in here. I don't I care. You... Get in your f car.
want a bondo all the way up to this shit, right? First spot, here it is. Perfect. They're fixing the spot up. There's a pretty good nine stair rail, so uh, just trying to make it skatable. It's a little rough up there. I went on King of the Road twice prior to this. The trip's so much different than a normal skate trip because your goals are far from a typical like skate trip, you know? So sad. How much? That much? Yeah, that's good. Three in water out, drink your own pee for a trick of the trip, Dan Loop. 50 points. Cheers, boys. Get it, Dan Loop. Oh, you don't gotta yeah. drink the whole thing, do you? Oh my god. Uh oh, Dan Loop drank piss already. Oh. Dan Loop right off the bat, drank his own piss. Just sucked it back. Oh, I'm gonna mark it, Dan Loop. I'm, I'm marking it. I'm gonna try to get this one. Oh! Oh! oh. Got it. Worst ground in the USA. And we're trying to fly ground challenges. All right, Bill's got it right here. There it is. Yeah, Bill. That's a book, yeah, there it is. Bill marks 20 points. That was it. That was a good one. Perfect. Hey, Dan, will you get your Birkenstocks? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to jump board in the Birkies. Yeah, Daniel. Yeah, Dan Lee. Yeah, yeah brother. Dan Lou usually always travels with Birkenstocks. Caveman the board slide. First try. Look at these things. Those are not, you can't, you can't skate in those. <laughs> I think stick to that. Billy's sticking to this, and then Blake's sticking to this guy right here. You got it, Blake. That's serious. So far, so good, man. They're checking them off the list right now. That's what you want to be doing. What else we got? We got a uh, backside low C grind. Oh, what's a low C grind? 180. It's a back lip, but you land on the front truck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's heavy. Oh! Hotel. Daniel Lutheran is our go to rail man. He's got a lot of rail game. He's a long haired hippie freak. He's willing to do whatever. It's the first rail we found, so it's like try to get what you can. I'm gonna wait till I find like something pretty good. Like this is gonna one slam, you just get torn apart on the ground. I mean, this rail is pretty steep. See? When you're trying something you know you can do and you just can't pull it together, you start getting pissed, pissed at yourself because you know you can do it. Some people go hard, some people like draw their lines, and you just have to play it by ear. I'm not too scared of much of it, but it's like you are put on this trip to try and do stuff. That creates an anxiety, you know? Quick breathing. Sorry, brother. Billy, the older brother coach style, like it came to a point where he was like, this is the first spot of the trip too. Like you might as well just save a little juice. It's like when the guy comes to the pitcher at the mound, you know, he's like, your arm's done. <laughs> yeah, your arm's done. Your arm's I'm bringing done. the relief. You got nothing left. <laughs> So here we go for your stereo, and you can tell that it's real when you hear me go, hear me go. Skills. We're back. Let's gonna make some magic happen. The recital. Skills. You feel it when we drop those hot stops. Where would you try that layback, Elijah? Layback. Oh, shit. Me from 
call me phony. So what is the next challenge? Miscellaneous challenges. All four wheels on a ceiling without planting a foot. Let's get it! <laughs> Raven's our bird dude, and he's one of the best in the world. So whatever challenges on like ramps or half pipes or anything, got that covered. Let's go, Trey! The four wheels is in question, just because I don't know if all four were up there. Really on mine is like not at the same time. Yeah. Was there three wheels on the ceiling? Was there four? I don't know. Is is Burnett here? Mike? We're going to check with a uh, burn dog if the trick is valid. To have confirmation before we leave the spot. What's up, burn dog? I'm kind of sending the city challenges right now. Yeah, I'm saying. Like, can I ask you one one thing? Yeah. One thing, really quick. Yeah. Can, can you put it down? Okay. No, 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 don't, no, no. I don't. No, do no, that. but I, I do that. I don't do that. No, no. I, you have to understand. If is this good like... enough? Is this good? If you can ask me, is this yeah. good enough? No. no. It's not. But you can't. Your best judgment. I can't do it because I can't do it for everybody for everything. Okay. All right. You know. Yep. Thank you. You won't let us know. Each King of the Road team has two videographers in the van with them. These guys are veterans who've made countless skate videos. See that that one is not touching? Yeah. There's the shadow. And these guys are crucial to each team. The only way we can figure out who won this thing is by looking at the skate footage. And if these guys don't document it correctly, I mean, do it. the team doesn't get the points. <laughs> I'm gonna go pick up cakes, yes. just so we have ammo. Hey, can we get one extra for Benny Boy to eat? We're doing it. Got another year. Yes. Got so many. Oh, I the good cake. dance ones. Raspberry mm -hmm. cake. D-Way's dessert and an opponent with cake from your vehicle. A lot of these challenges are based on memorable moments in skateboarding history. So a lot of the younger guys, when they see it, they're like, what is this? D-Way's dessert. This is based on Danny Way in the Plan B Questionable video. There's a throwaway shot of him and Colin riding around at night, throwing cake at complete strangers from their car, just basically being teenage ass. 30 years later, we resurrect that moment into this challenge. You get 50 points. Roll up and cake him. Stevie's sitting right up there. I yeah. can get him. Get, get him. Get, him. get the camera ready. Camera ready. ready. You got the camera ready? Ah, uh, these are back. Dude. God damn it. Oh, God. Yeah, you're. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Take a leap, bro. We got hit with a Twinkie cake. Twinkie cake to his ass. Got Stevie. Check, baby. Check. Yeah. Hey, since we're done, let me get a pound cake. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take it out. Have at him, dude. <laughs> well, as soon as he gets this, we're going to be out. So you got to do the butt chug again, man. That's the gnarliest drop in, tail drop right there. Is that a drop in? Yeah, that's it. Ben's got it. All right, let's go check this thing. Let's go check you. Get on this one. That one's got like concrete things. Off the ledge would be sick as f This one's fine. There's a challenge that is gnarliest drop in, and we're just going for that, but you don't know that you win that until it's over. Another way the teams can earn points is through the highest, longest, most. Only one team can earn the points for this, and it's not judged until the end. Highest, longest, most is where you can really rack up points and push your team to the top. First time, baby, ran! 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 Yeah. Janet! Oh, oh yeah. 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 Yes! 
Captain, you're psycho. With the train coming. Oh, right. Oh, with the train. Yes. With the train. You got it. Come on, baby. Right hey. there. Shaky. Ah, sick. Hell yeah. Mike's got a ton of friends up here in Seattle, and uh, he's got a friend who's going to send us a pin to a skate park. They got like quarter pipes, ledges, manis, stairs. I think everything we need. This dude's tight. He's got no seat and he's drinking a 40. He's down, yeah, we're gonna wall ride this hood. Yeah, cross. What's your name? My name's Louis Dogs. Louis Dogs? Clint, good to meet you. Thanks, brother. Hell oh, yeah. <laughs> You're the homie. Yeah. You needed that. <laughs> De Niro's <laughs> up his car. I mean, not code not 10. Too bad. Yeah. Here's Louis Dogs. Louis Dogs. Mm -hmm. This, uh, this park's the shit. It's got like all the best things in the park crammed into one tiny little morsel. I love this park. It's not too big. It's not like um, the dude that built it was like trying to be the gnarliest dude that ever built the gnarliest park. It's gonna kill you, park. It's perfect. Yeah, dude. You did it? Yeah. It's the first day, a couple hours in, of getting adjusted to the process. John, headstand. I see you get in. Oh, oh shit, side. Man, yeah. that shit. Oh, <laughs> wow. A lot of the tricks are like catered to like certain dudes on the teams, you know, like there'll be like one trick that one guy on the team has done, you know, so they'll they'll throw it in there and then sometimes you know there's tricks that like just nobody's done. He has to do his backside 50-50, and then he's got to lay down into a coffin and then roll in on his back like a coffin down the transition. Do you go like this or like this? Probably like that. I've never seen it done. It's definitely a difficult, weird trick, you know? It's king of the road trick for sure. It's so bad every time. Yeah. It's really hard, and I thought it was just gonna be funny and easy, but it's hard. My back hurts now. I think we're gonna mark one in the book, and I think it'll work. It's king of the road, you know? Like, everything can't be textbook. He's starting to f his back, so he's already done. It's sort of a team contest, a brand contest in a way, like you're up against them, but every one of these guys is like competitive with themselves.
People thought we were going to win the first year, and then the second year, people kind of came around like, holy shit, they did really good. And then for this one now, it's like I'm actually like hearing people thinking like we're going to three-peat. Shit, I always go into it thinking we're the underdogs every year. Like, we're up against chocolate. I'm like, damn, they could, they could take it. Parking reserved for pastor and wife only. That's all. Awesome. <laughs> Scarfing material, eat a page out of the book. Oh, let's eat that one with no ink on the back. Oh, yeah, less ink, better, huh? Yeah. Are you gonna eat that? I mean, I almost got it, right? You might as well eat a piece of paper. <laughs> yeah. Tastes like chicken, you know? Tastes like chicken? Yeah. What kind of chicken you eat? can look like rainbows. Yo, Ray, let me get a big bite, dude. I swallow this right here. But the colors soon fade in teardrops. If you miss your chance, Progress. Looking for my place on a train bound for glory. Waiting on a train bound for glory. It's so thick. You can feel this paper. I mean, dude, blend it in a smoothie. Use it as a piece of cheese on a burger. Whatever I be doing, I be dealing with food, dude. Like. Just chewing paper is so nice. On the next King of the Road. Let me just do it. Yeah, just try to get points. Let's go. Do it. One, two, three, go. Are you worried about your girl? Oh, yeah, she's gonna be bummed. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> All right, well, who's up? Oh, 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 oh. Shit! <laughs>